exposure. Yeah, yeah, no <laughs> Slick. Yep, Slick. I've not seen anything through here. Oh, the power's probably out. TV here uh, on a hot, summer, sultry, typical mid-July day in Cleveland. Perfect day for a reggae festival, which is why we're here today. Daddy Freddy is on tour for his new album, Stress, on Chrysalis. Yeah. So, you're uh, from Jamaica originally. You must be used to weather like yeah. this. Yeah, <laughs> humid. Almost, almost like going home a little bit far away. Mm -hmm. so, um, so, you were born, raised in Jamaica, and then London. Moved to London, and I'm living in North Hollywood now. You know, so it was a move from Jamaica to London to California. To California. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the style that you play, um, which defies description basically because it's a meld of many different styles, um, was pretty much born, I guess you could say, the roots are in Jamaican music, yeah. and ragamuffin. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell us a little bit about what ragamuffin is all about, because it's something that's kind of new. All right. Ragamuffin is a mixture of the Papua slang, from Jamaica, the Caribbean slang. Some say they come out of the ghettos. Some say it's that broken down English in a different rap sense. Like, when you rap, you like rap riding, like riding the tides or a river, like going up and down. Mm -hmm. Some say that we have me on my own, but I got on that then the back. Come now, burn down, burn down, burn We meet international. Some say you just gotta flow with it, aggressive. Some say when you're rapping, you know. But at the means, at the meantime, you know you can you can break it down in any style you want. You know, you can go talk and stop. You got so much patterns and slangs in it. Mm -hmm. Some say. Mm -hmm. So basically what I do with my style, due to the fact that a lot of people doesn't understand what, what it means, because they only understand what Bob Marley and them folk, uh, the legends mm -hmm. right, from, from the past used to say. Right. You know what I'm saying? So like all this is a new hype, a new thing, I, I try to put it in different markets so everybody can get a feel and understand what ragamuffin is about, ragamuffin rap is about. Mm -hmm. Which is why you blend the house yeah. music and the dub and yeah. the rap. Straight dance song and ragga rock, which is a new one. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So you're pretty much an innovator as far as this is concerned. If you're not the very first, you're mm -hmm. very close to being the first person to do this kind of thing. And how does, how does it feel to be to know that you're in that position, that you are actually breaking ground on a new, new thing, which is something that's very rare in music? Well, as my DJ Devastate would tell you, you know, music business, a lot of people look at music business like it's a war thing. Music business to us is a God thing to keep people off the war, take their minds off the wars and the trouble that's around with, um, what's going on in the world mm -hmm. right now. So whatever I can do to mix it and give it a new style, a new flavor, mm -hmm. a new hype, because you can't be doing the same thing over and over and over again. Because it's some monotonous. Right. You know, you got to try new things. New stuff. You see what I'm saying? Right. We've been talking about that all day and, and how stale music has actually gotten because of exactly. the fact that everybody coming out sounds so yeah. much alike. Yeah, sound the same. We try to be different, you know, because variety is the spice of life. Mm -hmm. sure. You got to mix it. Right. Mix and it like your, your lead single, Daddy Freddy's in Town, is a good example of that because, um, as I was saying before, even though it's not indicative of what the album is all about. Mm -hmm. um, at the same time, it is because it takes everything that all the other songs are composed of and breaks them down into their individual component parts. Yeah. So you hear a little bit of 
the Led Zeppelin thing, in yeah. there, which is very interesting. And you hear the hip hop beat, and you hear the reggae, and you hear the straight rap. Yeah, and you hear the, and, and you hear the rock guitars mm -hmm. in the background. You know, it's just a, it's just a new fusion. You know, it's mix oh. it. Yeah, a new fusion, a new hype, new things. People can't be doing the same thing over and over. Pop, 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 pop. Too much of that. I want something new. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, in order to let people understand, we gotta mix it. You know? Mm -hmm. And reach the broadest and audience. And reach the broadest audience. People who don't understand it. You know? So tell us pretty much the kinds of things that you write about. Rap is a totally different realm than. Well, if you listen to my album, basically, I rap about everything that's going on. A little gimmick, a little a, a little thing for from out of the Bible, because you can't leave out God in whatever you're doing. See? I did born Christian, I did straight dance hall, straight dance hall rap, which is underground. Because I don't you, you must always remember where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. Cause that's what that, that's what I grew up on. Straight dance hall. You see what I'm saying? So I try to mix it. Mm -hmm. You know? Okay. Um Talking about some of the things that are in the album, you've got Strains of Miss You, mm -hmm. we've got uh, Aretha Franklin's R.E.S.P.E.C.T., mm -hmm. we've already talked about the Led Zeppelin thing, yeah. um, and there's a couple other things that are also mixed in with that, yeah. and they're they're done in a real interesting way. I mean, everybody knows the, the flap about Vanilla Ice and the Under Pressure thing and everything, yeah. but um, you seem to approach it in a much different way, where you're like, at the same time as you're using it, you're also paying credit to yeah, as I said, you can't forget where you're coming from, you know. Whenever you're going to sample somebody's thing, you know, it, it, it's, it's a common courtesy or it's a good courtesy to even write them in advance and, and know what time it is, you know, that you're going to use it. It's either yes or no. But in my point of view, that's respect. You know what I'm saying? Sure. That's respect before you even use somebody's thing, you know. Just write them a note, tell them, you know. I'm going to I'm going to sample it. I'm going to give you credits for it. You know, and that's just, that's just a deal. You know, it's a God thing. You know, war thing. You know, and just be yourself as a musician. Don't try to get too sweat at it. You know what I'm saying? Don't try to think you're on top of the world. They're like, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm it now. Mm -hmm. You know, just be yourself. You know, at the same way you were when you just started out. You know. Mm -hmm. Um. Now this brings us about to the way you present your music. Mm -hmm. You are listed in the Guinness Book of World Records not once, but twice. <laughs> three times. Three times, oh, okay, as being the world's fastest rapper. Uh, how did this whole thing come about? Obviously, this is something that you just, you know, must take, take some practice, because <laughs> from what I understand, the criteria was that they had to be able to slow it down and understand each and every syllable. Yeah. And it's what, 536 syllables? No, 28. 528. Oh, 28 now. It's a new record okay. for next year. Okay, 528 syllables per minute. Mm -hmm. You do that are intelligible if you slowed it down to listen to. Well, actually, um, they put it through a computer thing. So even if the syllables ain't clear, you just edit it out. Uh -huh. See what I'm saying? Which I, yeah, which I never really miss because I, pra I, I practice becomes perfect, right? Mm -hmm. So I did the first competition in, uh, in, in London and I wanted a 356. Then I went back on BBC television and broke it from 356 to 507, right? Syllables in a minute. And the other day in New York at the Empire State Building, I broke it back from 507 to 528. You know? How far do you think this can go? <laughs> well, as, long, as, as far as, as, as you going to take it. Right? <laughs> For real? As far as he's going to take it. I mean, seriously, this is fast stuff. It really, <laughs> it really is fast, you know, and um, and that's that's part of the whole thing is. I mean, you're you're actually playing your voice as an instrument because with your accent and everything, and yeah. like you said before, with the patois, yeah. um, it's more difficult to understand the word anyway. Yeah. So as you're rolling it across yeah. at that speed, yeah. it becomes a whole new yeah. element. That's why I mix the rap with the patois or the reggae MC talking. You know, a ragamuffin mixed with the rock, mm -hmm. turn on the power, time for a shock. So you know I always eat and never miss. 
So play the music like this. Be come on me yard, I'm too bad to yard, and that's the limbus man. Come, come. Be never done proud of that big international. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Make some man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. woman at my yard. I got my girl at my yard. Or my girl at my house. Mm -hmm. And my two bodyguards, and that lyrics is hard. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Predominant. I stand predominant. Means I'm international. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So uh, you just gotta break it down. If, uh, the more you listen to it, the more you get into it, and the more you can understand the terminologies. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool, man. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it is. <laughs> absolutely, it is. Cool. Um, okay, now on, on the album here too, um, you have some guest people involved: mm -hmm. uh, Tenorfly and Asher Lee and Dale Joyner and. Uh, Simon Harris, who produced, and yeah. I, I assume is the one who co-wrote a lot of these yeah. songs. No, yeah, we, we wrote and, and arranged the music together. Mm -hmm. I like working with Simon, just like working with Devastate. Mm -hmm. You can't work with somebody or a producer who thinks he knows it all. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Each one teach one. Give and take. Right. Ah, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got to respect the other man, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What he's saying. Right. So I'm saying you can't just know it all, cause nobody knows it all. So I'm saying you gotta pick sense out of nonsense then. Sure. So I'm saying each one teach one, you know, and you you flow better that way, you know. You ain't gotta be like you're bigger than the other man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like uh, the devastate is producing something and we working together for something and we and we say yeah that could put him in. Mm -hmm. He would just try it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. We don't even hesitate just to get the feel of it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Some other producer will say, nah, that, that, that doesn't fit in there, really. Try it. You might <laughs> like it. You know what I'm saying? Because things I don't see, Devastate will see. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because right. I can't see it all. Because if I'm playing a track over and over, you know? You get wrapped up into it. Uh, you get wrapped up into, into your own ideas. Sure. Sometimes yeah, sometimes, you sometimes you do. You have to, like, have... That's somebody right. or you step back or something and, yeah. and approach it from a different right. perspective and you see something that was there that you didn't see before exactly. and, yeah. and, and how to put it together. Um, well, tell us about some of these people that worked on this. Well, you. actually, they were um, those people, I love them articulately, right? Because they've been there for me when I just started, especially when I was just came to England, right? When I hooked up with, because he was a DJ for Demon Boys, mm -hmm. right? Until, until they split up, mm -hmm. right? So Chewy worked on the Salt and Pepper, we got them tour in, in, in Germany, we did all of Europe. And London, right? that's we hooked up, man. Right? So, and he always wanted to do stuff, we always wanted to do stuff together, right? Mm -hmm. So we just hooked up, right? And those people, Tenorfly, right? I taught him to rap the reggae style. Prento Youth is my little apprentice, my little apprentice. I taught him also, right? Mm -hmm. So, giving them a break on your album. You know, it's a great opportunity. You can't be all for yourself. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Give somebody else a break. You know what I'm saying? Right. To let them go out there and experience what, what is it, what it's like. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You know? So that's basically it. You know? So what about as far as your, your touring group is concerned? What does, what does a Daddy Freddy show consist of? Well, Daddy Freddy show consists of... It's live stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's live stuff, man. Tell you about it's just live. Well, basically, it's just like based around Freddie and freestyle. Everything's it's planned, but it's also spontaneous. I mean, sometimes Freddie might just do something that is totally unrehearsed, mm -hmm. and it flows, man. We've got dancers. I'm on the decks cutting up. It's just live, man. Some live stuff business. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> <laughs> live. You know? Is For real? Is this? Is this? Okay, now here it's it's the Cleveland Reggae Festival. It's a, it's a two day thing. It was going on yesterday. It's going on today. Pause that. There we go. <laughs> okay, it's a two day reggae festival that's going on. Uh, it was going on yesterday. It was going on today. As far as I know, this is the first time that there's ever been anything quite like this in Cleveland, uh, which is a, a great thing to have. Mm -hmm. um, but are you? doing things like this all across the country, or what is the basic tour going on right now? Well, actually, um, I'm just promoting my album. It's just a promotional tour. Okay, so you're on tour by yourself. Yeah. After this tour. Okay. Yeah, I'm just um, Is this your first show in the States? No, I did um, New York regularly. And I did California, Spices, you know. And I did loads of shows with Eddie D when I was in the continent, on the continent, you know. So, I'm just promoting my album 
and getting people to, to really get into me. Mm -hmm. So when when I'm ready to hit them back on my own thing, they're it, ready for it. it. They're ready for it. They're seasoned to it. Right. You know. Right. Um, okay. Well, why don't you tell us about the new one, then, The Crown? The Crown. Well, The Crown was written. It was, it was written by Stevie Wonder, as you know, right? And I grew up in Jamaica listening to that song. And that song is special. It's not really, I wear the crown, yes, because I'm the king, right? It's, it's, it's the crown. You're special. Everybody in the world is special. No matter who you are, you are special. You wear the crown. You see what I'm saying? I wear the crown. You wear the crown. You see what I'm saying? You're special under God's guidance. You see what I'm saying? 24-7, right around the clock. Ah! <laughs> 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 yeah, mm -hmm. that is basically it. And yeah. how about how about the video? Well, the video is slamming, you know. The video is, you know, it's there, you know, because I got everything that I wanted to, you know, do in it. You know what I'm saying? This one, the first one, this first one is slamming. I love that phrase in town, but that's more popish like, mm -hmm. you know. You know what I'm saying? But this one is for everybody, same way. Not only for one marketer, you know. See, for everybody. You know, you're special. What's it like for Daddy Craig to do a video? I mean, is there a lot of work involved? Uh, do you do anything with it, or do you just go out and perform it? Or yeah, I, I, I just basically just be myself, rap, you know? And this is an everyday thing, a normal thing. Just be yourself and do it, you know? It's music, you know? Get into it, the craziness. I love the craziness. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I don't know, I guess you'd almost have to to be able to continue doing it. <laughs> That's for sure. So, okay, well, I guess that pretty much does it. That tells mm -hmm. us, you know, I think a pretty decent amount about Daddy Freddy. Unless, mm -hmm. you know, like if you have any closing words that you would like to, like to leave us with. Love God and live, ate him and die. Peace. Devastate, original bad boy. Ah!